The thoughts come and go all the time they're traveling through. So who is it that is aware of the thoughts come and go? So we're asking, we say we want inner peace. And we're asking for inner peace. Because if you're really at peace with yourself, what difference does it make what the other world is doing? If you're really peaceful inside, you're really at peace with yourself. And when I say you're at peace with yourself, I'm not saying that you are doing everything you're imagining that you should be doing or you are living this ideal life that you're expecting yourself to live. I'm not talking about that because that's conditional. When I talk about inner peace is that you're simply fully aware and hear that when thoughts come, the mind arises and it creates a havoc. You're simply aware of it. You're not trying to control your thoughts. You're not trying to change your thoughts to be positive. You're not controlling your thoughts. You're not trying to make your thoughts positive. And you're not trying to visualize something positive. You're simply aware that the thoughts come like a storm. And they, they come through. And all of a sudden, this blue sky gets cluttered with a lot of clouds and it starts raining and there's a storm. The storm is a busy mind. So how long do the storms last in the sky? Storm comes, it rains, it hell, it snows, there's thunder lights going and then what goes, what happens? It goes away. And then when the storm goes away and you look up into the blue sky, what's left? The blue sky is blue. So then everything becomes quiet. Now you're at peace because the storm went away. When the mind is not busy, when there's no thoughts, what's left? Everything is quiet. And then another stream of thoughts starts coming in. So then you're aware of all these thoughts and they are going crazy and then they go away. There has to be, there must be something inside you which is not involved and is, is not concerned with your thoughts and with your feelings. Something is always here, something in a state of silence. Something inside you is still, it's like this. And this part of you, we call it the observer, the watcher, the witness. This part of you is really still and is aware of the mind and all these thoughts coming, is aware of them. And when they go, is aware that it's quiet and is silent. So there is a measuring element inside you that measures things. If you bring your attention to, towards this part, the watcher, the seer, the observer, these are words for it. The watcher, the one who's watching. The seer, the one who's seeing. The one who's aware, 
something inside you. This part of you can change, is not touched. It's always still. Something inside you is always still. Something inside you does not change. And because you have this part, then this part is aware of changes. This part is aware of things passing through because they're passing through in front of this one. This one doesn't move. It's always here and is aware of movements. Thoughts passing through your mind, emotions passing through your being, but the observer remains the observer. The blue sky is always remains blue. It doesn't matter how many storms pass through it. So it's for you to decide which one do you want to be? Do you want to be the blue sky who is not affected by anything? Or you want to be the storms? So far to this point in your life, you always identify with the thoughts and the emotions because that's who you think you are. You think you're your thoughts. So you're trying to control your thoughts. It's impossible. So what happens? You suffer. You think you're your emotions. So you're trying to use all kinds of techniques and courses and medication and drugs and food and pleasure and pain or whatever to control your emotions. So you can't do it and you suffer. And I'm offering you the alternative way, the easy way, the best way. Simply bring your attention towards the observer. Reconnect with who you really are, the one who is aware, not what he or she is aware of. Bring your attention to the one who is aware, not what he or she is aware of. What you do normally is you spend a lot of time being aware of your thoughts, being aware of your emotions, identifying with them. And they're like yo-yo. Shift your attention to this other part and you see you're instantly free. You discover freedom and inner peace. Then life changes. Because you're not trying to change the outside elements to adjust to you and to go your way. You have changed something inside yourself. 